What's up, fellas? Are you fucking serious? Um, I don't know. Am I? Am I, Chief? Oh man, look at this bridge. Oh, I don't have a good feeling about this. <laughs> Seems a little ominous. Yeah. Pulling out all the stops. What does the lockdown do for the nerdy? Necessary security measures. Officer, ma'am! Damn, are we ever lucky we ran into you. Really? What is it that makes me so special? A uh, heart of gold? Because only somebody with a heart of gold can understand just how much I need to get back to my girl. Your girl? Uh huh. I'm gonna be worried sick if I don't show. I mean,. I'm trying to be a stand-up guy. She's giving me a chance. I'm waiting. That's a shame. Look at him. No model citizen, maybe, but he's a good kid. Let them through. But they're the last. Okay, on your way. You have a good evening now, officer, ma'am. <laughs> no way did that work, really? Ha ha! Smooth talker. <laughs> so you can be nice when you feel. When am I not nice? Um, always. I'm always never not nice. <laughs> Logic. Ah. <sighs> Don't mind me, I'm just gonna drool over the eye candy. <laughs> I wonder where we live. We live in like Little Chinatown? Cause it just sounded like we were traveling through Little Chinatown. I hope we could steal another vehicle. I mean, this car is all, all right and everything, but it's kind of boring. Ah, jeez. Home. Alright. Wonder what home looks like. K 
God, I love the level of detail with everything. I mean, look at all this stuff. Uh, explosion of taste! Oh, yeah, we're probably supposed to hit a button, right? Yeah, alright. Well, boom. Um. Lovely. I thought I had it. Come on. Clicky, clicky. Bud? Forgot earlier. A runner I know has something you could probably use. Zip in your deets. Praise be to me, our Father in Heaven. And our second guest is Karina Lee, host of the Machine Man program. Oh, wow, look. Love tuning you, beautiful. Can't complain, Ziggy. Thanks for having me. Now, I'd like us to talk about the most exclusive and highly sought after implant on the market today. Oh. Corpse relic. But maybe we ought to make sure our fair audience is up to speed. Karina, what is relic exactly? In a word, if you could. In one word, I'd say immortality. Immortality. Really? That's right. Relic allows you to transfer the consciousness from a dying person, finding a new home for their soul on a transferable chip. This person, they'll never leave your side. A companion forever with you in your own consciousness. Just a child, child, think for a moment about what you're saying. This relic is an abomination that feeds on human misery. It is an unnatural likeness, a golden calf born by false prophets. Arasaka speaks of preserving the soul. But they can promise nothing more than a heartless, mindless algorithm speaking with the voice of the departed. What's more, this technology is just another tool of coercion and corruption. Only the wealthy and powerful elite will have access. And they will pay any price in exchange for a chance at this so-called immortality. Well, that is true that Arasaka Corp has specifically limited access to the relic in order... Your promise is a lie! An evil lie! Motivated by greed and... <laughs> now that is rich! Hey, excuse me? False promises, greed, a lust for power. Why, it sounds an awful lot like a church to... What? How oh. dare you? Oh, shit! Do you not promise a life after death? Do you not charge funeral fees to a family in mourning? Maybe the Reverend is just afraid of some healthy competition, huh? Competition? You believe everything in this world can be counted, measured, rationalized? And wouldn't we be right? We can construct artificial brains, create new consciousness. But I ask you why? What does that give us? Are we as a people on this earth any happier for it? You claim that this relic gives eternal life. But all I see is an eternity of suffering. Rather than say goodbye, we haunt ourselves with their voices, their presence. What do you folks think? Who holds the truth? Is it Ms. Lee or maybe Reverend Kohler? That is up to you. Send Kohler or Lee to 7892 to cast your vote and enter your name for a chance to win tickets to this year's playoff. City! Until next time, Night City. Toodles. You know, I, I kind of agree with the preacher, but I can totally see what they're, they're, they're talking about. The reason I would agree with the preacher, although they make a good point about him being kind of a hypocrite. Um, is it really you? Like, like... You know, like, I've seen things where they're like, oh yeah, we'll clone you into another body and blah, blah, blah. It's like, it's exactly you. Is it really you? Even if it has all your memories, is it, is it still your consciousness? Or does you as a person, in a sense, cease to exist, but an identical copy, it's almost like a clone, you know? But instead of cloning it from, you know, a young age like they tend to do, you know, it, it would be the exact same age, but it would never die. You know, it's like, uh, I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of skeptical. And then the lifelong thing of suffering does not sound like fun, although if most of your body's electronics, would you really feel pain in the normal sense anymore? I mean, I guess you could have mental trauma. What's up, fellas? Are you fucking serious? Um, I don't know. 
Am I? Am I, Chief? Police warrant issued. Oh, come on! Any illegal activity, such as theft or attacking civilians, will result in, in New York City PD placing a bounty on you. The police will send a patrol to the crime scene, and the strength of their response will be proportional to the size of the bounty. To lose the police, move away from the crime scene and lay low for a while. <gasps> Nobody saw shit. Fucking city. Damn it. <laughs> I didn't know that was gonna go that way. I didn't know it. Can't prove anything. <laughs> Man, this is one hell of an apartment, though. Look at this TV set up. Dude, I love it. Can we sit in here? Oh my god, we can. Oh, yeah. I want a couch like this. This would be a great an apartment. We can order, like, Drinks in our room? Oh, drinks, drugs, heavy, hardcore meals, girls, boys. Oh, alrighty then. From the secret shadows of dawn, there's a darkness to disguise. The simple thought I recognize. Can't you see there? 